I think that's awesome. And it was all organized for the internet. They taught 20,000 people how to do the same dance together and get them all in, Sh in Chicago on Michigan Avenue. They had 50 professionals out of the 20,000 people actually kind of helping organize all of this. But it, it, it's a great example of, of what the internet can do, not just online, but off as well. And also, it's good because I don't want to be standing here and talking the entire time either. With that, I want to talk just three slides briefly on some marketing trends. What's happening right now in kind of the advertising marketing world where dollars are being invested for small businesses, for large corporations, internationally and locally. Um, in June 2009, there was a, a research done by eMarketer that looked at U.S. marketers uh, across the United States of where they're planning to invest their dollars over the next year and a half. Well, 70% of them said they're going to be shifting the majority of their funds from traditional into digital. Now, granted, a lot of budgets have been cut and shrunken, but at the same time, you don't need as much money to invest into the digital world while still being able to effectively get a high return on your investment. Um, and talking about specifically budget increases, where are we looking to increase those budgets? Well, 48% are looking to increase their budgets in social media. 48% again are looking to do with email marketing in-house. Email is still an extremely effective tool. It's great for relationship management. It's great for people and customer loyalty. It's great for editorial content and providing uh, more how-to information or best practices on a product that you're selling, or case studies of specific clients. 27% uh, were looking to increase their spend in paid search. 83% are decreasing their spend on radio and TV. 83%. Another 60% are looking to decrease in print advertising, and 43% in renting or paying for email lists. That's not ours. Finally, social media specifically. Why are people not, businesses not adapting to social media? 46% is because of lack of knowledge and information. People not comfortable with the medium in order to enforce that or pitch it to their bosses to invest the time, the resources, the dollars to get involved and really have an effective return on investment. 43% feel there's an inability to measure return on investment. Is return on investment exactly what you're used to in terms of throwing a lot of dollars at the top to try to get to a few people? Or is it something where we try to start at the top with less money and more people and try to target down later on? So with that, there's a marketing system we got to think about. How do all these pieces and parts fit together? Well, it's not just traditional. It's not just digital. They need to integrate. They need to talk to each other. How do we take our business cards? How do we take collateral? How do we take television commercials that we're running, push them to specific landing pages on our website so we can track how many people are actually coming from some of those campaigns? You've got to build a house. You've got to build a strong foundation. So that's your website. That's where people are going online to learn about you as a customer or as a business. It's not just having a brochure online. It's about taking what you do day to day in your business and making it work online, making, making it interactive talking to your prospects and consumers the same way you're trying to do so offline. Email marketing. How are you using email marketing as a relationship tool? How is it a value add to your clients and customers so that when they do think six months from now of somebody asking them a question, well, who should I use for HR recruitment? Or I'm interested in buying a product for X, Y, and Z. Where should I go? They've got it on the top of their head. They may not read it every month, but it's another touch point that's extremely critical in learning more about our customers and keeping them informed socially about who we are. Video. We're not going to talk about video. Uh, no. You know, vi video brings what you can do in person onto the web. I've got a client in, in Connecticut, Nantucket. They sell baskets for bikes. That's not really exciting. It's a, it's a bike basket. Um, and there are seasons really in the United States only a few months out of the year, though, if we keep this up, we don't really know. But the way they sell is unique. Each basket has a story behind it that personally affected their family. It's a family-run business. One time they left a picnic basket out over the summertime, it rained, got ruined. Well, they created a basket 
that's kind of a little bit more weatherproof for those types of situations. They used to have bikes on all their baskets in Nantucket. When they dropped them, they break. Well, how do we fix that solution? Well, they said, the owners, the stakeholders, that when they go out to sell these baskets, they've got a 75% higher close rate than their sales reps do. Why? Because they're telling the story. They're buying from that individual. So how do we take that experience and put it into a scalable model? Well, we did it with video. CRM, Customer Relationship Management. One of the coolest parts about digital marketing. We can know everything, just about everything, people online and how they're interacting. When you're doing phone calls, you can start creating notes and taking notes so that it builds a profile for your customers, for your clients, for your prospects, so that when people are trying to reach out to them, all they're doing is typing their name into a system, a customer relationship management system, to find everything out. We can know what pages on our website they visit, what contact forms, what type of information they're interested in. Good example, Toyota dealership we work with. When you go to Google and search for Toyota Camry Cleveland, Ohio, and click on an ad to a dealership like Metro Toyota, you get taken to a landing page on Metro Toyota's website about cameras. Well, once that happens, we know that you came to the website off of a search from Google for Toyota Camry. So we can start customizing all of the content automatically, dynamically, online to show more information about cameras, testimonials, banners, call to action graphics, all get changed dynamically to cameras. Then that information can go into our CRM system so that the sales rep, whether it's on the phone or on the floor, knows already what they've looked at and what they're interested in. That's the power of CRM. Search engine marketing. How many people use Google every day? Okay, and everyone. You use search engines on a daily basis, whether it's B2B, B2C, whether you're researching a product or a company, or just trying to find more information about it. Well, how do we use search engine marketing to our advantage? How do we create traffic to our websites? And not just traffic for the heck of traffic, but for reasons of conversion, qualified traffic. These people that are searching for specific terms are coming to a website want to get the content they're looking for within three clicks, and they're either finding it or going back to Google and looking at another company. We've gotta keep that in mind, and we've gotta focus on conversion. We may get a ton of clicks and impressions, but if they aren't converting, if they're not qualified, that money's going out the window. Finally, social media optimization, social media marketing. And that's what we're really gonna spend the rest of the time on, so we'll wrap back around to it, but how does it fit into our organization? How do we need to set right standards, policies, and procedures in order to not only execute efficiently and effectively, but to maintain a sense of comfortability in the organization? And then finally, traditional. Like we said, you can't get rid of it. Tons of people are still watching TV, listening to the radio, looking at their mail on a daily basis. It's still a critical element to everything that we do, but we need to get it into the 21st century. We need to integrate whatever we're doing online with the offline. 